today I am back at the Black Forest Trail in central Pennsylvania. This is the first trip I did last year, first video I made. Last year I was here, I did the southern half of the loop. I did about 21, 22 miles last year on the southern half. This time I will be doing the northern half of the loop. Gonna do an overnight, hopefully do about 25, 24 to 25 miles. So pretty excited. The weather right now is really nice, but I know for a fact it is supposed to rain. I would be shocked if I do not get wet, if I don't get rained on. So we will see, it might be a bit of an adventure. I have a lot of mileage that I want to do today and uh, I am not sure how long it's gonna take me. So I'm just going to finish getting ready and hit the drill. Okay, it is 9.37 on Sunday morning. I am setting some pretty ambitious goals for today and I have no idea how it's gonna go. I'm trying to possibly do 16 miles, but we will see right now the weather is really nice and I know it's not gonna stay that way. So I want to get as many miles in as I can while the weather is nice. I just passed a cabin with a guy and his dog so I got greeted by a friendly doggy and now we are off I have a ton of new gear this year I'm wearing a new backpack I got a new tent I got a new sleeping bag I got a new GPS device that I'm sure my wife and family will enjoy because now I can communicate a little better from out on the trail at least check in let them know I'm not dead I'm wearing new shoes Apparently I was not supposed to follow that road. Oh, it's right there. All right, missed that. I guess it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't go the wrong way at least once. Luckily that was a minor one. We are at a little over two miles in about 45 minutes which is pretty good considering I have stopped to take a few moments to film kind of torn between wanting to catch footage and wanting to make mileage I think I said earlier my ambitious goal is 16 miles today but that would be quite a lot right now I am on flat ground and I'm pacing under three miles an hour and I haven't even gotten to all the hard stuff yet if anybody watched my first black forest trail video you would remember how much I was dying on some of those hills well I'm wearing trail running shoes so I figured I'd try my hand at it we'll see if I regret this That's enough for now. It's another little vista. 
hopefully the second of many. This trail is quite difficult, but you are normally rewarded with some really good views. It was May 2nd when I came here last year, and now it is May 15th. That two extra weeks has made a huge difference in how green everything is. Looking out over that vista, oh, looking out over that vista is actually green. All the trees, the tops are green, where last time it was all brown. It was still really pretty, but not quite as, not quite as scenic. All right, I'm following this path for a little bit. I think eventually I start to go, I am going downhill, but eventually it's a little bit of a steeper downhill, down to a road maybe. I haven't looked in my, at my map in a little bit. It's been about four and a half miles maybe. Making pretty good time. I think as soon as I get a chance, I'm gonna stop and change my socks. I wanted to do it earlier, but I kept passing a bunch of people. There's people, a lot of people out here trail running, a dude with a couple dogs. I passed a chain of like eight people that were together that were all backpacking. So I didn't wanna sit down in the middle of the trail because I kept seeing people. My back is soaked. I don't know if you can tell on camera. Looks pretty wet. Once you're all wet, you don't really notice it. It's just when you take your bag off, suddenly it's like, oh wow, I am wet. Guess what? The good news is I'm not getting the blisters I got last time. The bad news is I think I'm getting different blisters. So I think from walking downhill and probably trying to walk too fast, I've been striking my heel on the ground. So now it seems like I might be getting a blister like right on the back of my heel. It's only a problem when I'm going downhill, I think. This is kind of fun. So you can see the elevation profile of this section of the map. And I am right here, which is mile eight, right around there. So I'm kind of at this dip and I gotta go all the way up and then all the way back down and then up again if I wanna get to where I plan to camp. So it took a longer break than I wanted. Um, I wanted to try to mess with those blisters a little bit. I feel like all the stuff I tried putting on there, it's just gonna fall off while I'm walking. So, see how it goes. Blister stuff is super annoying because everything else on my body feels great. My legs feel good. I have way more energy than I expected because I did not get enough sleep last night. I feel like if it wasn't for that, I could just plow through miles, which is what I was trying to do this morning. And I think that 
probably is what contributed to the blisters because I was striking my heel harder than I would have been if I was taking smaller strides. We'll just keep going, see how bad it gets. I'm not sure I can get through that. Let's step over here. So I've done six miles and if I get to 16, some really quick math, that means I have 10 miles left and it's a little after noon. If I do two miles an hour, I could theoretically be at camp at 5 p.m. I don't think I can do two miles an hour on the sections that are coming up. I think it's going to be pretty rough, but I don't think I need to be there by 5. So, unless pain is physically preventing me from moving, then I think I can do it. Did my lens look foggy? I'm also wearing a hat just because I brought one in case I wanted it when it was raining under my rain jacket. And then I forgot to put it back in my bag when I was packing up. So I just put it on my head. I don't actually like wearing hats because I'm just not a hat person. I'm like the only person I know that doesn't wear hats. So yeah, congrats. This is Josh in a hat. Soak it up. Because you'll probably never see me in the wild. Well, I guess this is the wild. You'll probably never see me uh, in the domestic with a hat. At some point, I need to fill up water. And actually, it looks like we're about to cross the creek. So I will do that now. Uh, refreshed my face a little bit, so I'm a little wet, but uh, while I was getting water, I realized I don't really have a super easy way across this. I think I can probably find some rocks to make my way, but it's not as easy as I would hope to keep my feet dry. I think maybe I can make something work here. I am at 6.76 miles as of right now, and it is What's even the point in doing those shots? You guys know I gotta go back to the camera. This has been brutal, but it's been awesome. 
obvious. Oh, I gotta sweat my eye. These rocks are just really cool. It's a pain in the ass and it's hard going, but I really enjoy it. And this has been perfect for my blisters because I'm never even touching my heel to the ground. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to take a break when I get to the top of this. Refuel a little bit. I don't feel hungry at all, but I know I need to keep eating just so I don't get exhausted. They'll sneak up on me, I'm sure. I know the camera doesn't really capture the hills that well. They either look flat or really exaggerated. There's not really an in-between. Maybe to give some perspective this is my trucking pull straight out. So it's aimed kind of at the rock. Well, there's a lot of rocks, but there's a rock right there. I'm holding this trucking pull straight out. And that's probably, I don't know, eight feet away. I don't know what that incline would be. Someone do the math. Let me know. Oh, that's awesome. Made it to the top. Well, this would be an awesome place for a break, but I'm actually really hot and the sun is really hot and I don't have sunscreen on right now. So I'm gonna try to find some shade. I said I wasn't gonna take a break out in the sun, but it went behind some clouds, so I'm gonna stop here at this vista. Okay, so my mileage obviously took a hit there. A little after one o'clock and I've done 7.4 miles-ish. We'll see how much I can get over the next couple hours, I'm on top of the hill now, so should be able to go a little bit faster. Around three o'clock is when the chance of storms is supposed to start, so I wanna get as far as I can in the next two hours so that if it starts raining, I've made good progress by then. I really don't want to be setting up my tent when it's raining, but I don't know, it'll be a good experience, I guess, if I have to, because I've never actually had to set this tent up in the rain, so I guess I'll get to learn. Maybe I'll get lucky and it won't rain at all. Oh God, it's raining harder. Woo! Wow.